Alright, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are doing oh so well and welcome to another Chelsea transfer news video because we are now firmly settled into the January transfer window and Chelsea are yet to make a signing even though people might have assumed that they'd be a little bit more eager seeing as the ban has lifted and Frank Lampard might want reinforcements but Chelsea have done business and we're going to talk about that today as well as an exciting rumour potentially and we're going to talk about another couple of bits as well so let's get into it but actually before we do let's remind you there to subscribe to Football Therapy if you've not yet done so please do subscribe hit the bell notifications icon why not like the video all right let's get into it Chelsea Football Club have officially done some transfer business this January transfer window and it's top tier exciting stuff Danny Drinkwater has gone on a six month loan to Aston Villa gargantuan and exciting news for everyone involved <laughs> yeah JT obviously likes something that he sees in Drinkwater and them as a club, the Birmingham club, see something in the midfielder that can help them stay in the Premier League this season. Scenes when Drinkwater scores 10 league goals from now and the end of the season with 12 assists, including a last minute bicycle kick winner away at Anfield if they've not already played at Anfield. You know, I'm gonna stop now. Drink water is gone. I'm not sure of the details, but it was rumored at first that they'd have to pay all 110,000 pounds of his Chelsea wage bill, but really I cannot see that being the case. Interesting. Anyway, he's off the books. Let's talk about another Chelsea player that's still on the books. A young teenage loanee in the shape of Conor Gallagher playing for Charlton Athletic down in the championship. Sounded quite French when I said that, le championship. Anyway, Gallagher's impressed a lot down in England's second division, although the team he's playing for are currently 19th in the league, which is obviously very poor, even though he shined very bright like a diamond. Loads of clubs want to take him on for the rest of the season, um, which kind of would leave his current club in a bit of a mess really, but still, if it's going to help his development, which I'm not sure it will, but apparently up to seven clubs uh, are interested in taking him, and that includes current Premier League clubs, such as the likes of Norwich City, that want to bring him in to help bolster the attacking midfield, get the old goal, and sort of really contribute a bit more going forwards. Flattering indeed, and a promising idea when bigger clubs coming in for you, but I think it might be good for him to stick it out of the club and be in a relegation battle. You know, sort of character building, all that kind of stuff, rather than being thrown into a new dressing room mid-season. As a young player still, but we'll see what happens. Right, before we talk about this secret Sky Sports defender, which is pretty funny, let's talk about Moussa Dembele, because apparently Chelsea are still very, very interested in the striker from Lyon, and they're going in a little bit harder. This is kind of an interesting one, because Dembele had been recognised as a good centre forward for a while now, obviously came for a Fulham, went to Celtic, very impressive at Celtic, a lot of big, big clubs wanted him from there, including Chelsea, but he ended up going to Lyon, and now Chelsea are still going in hard for him. Now, he's got 10 league goals in uh, Ligue 1, playing for Lyon, which is decent. Um, you know, his goals to minutes ratio is not amazing. He's played pretty much all the minutes as a centre forward, but still 10 goals halfway through the season. Decent. Chelsea saw a bit of £34 million being rejected. Apparently, they've come back in with another bid. This is just going around the news this morning. £40 million plus Giroud. Now, my an instinctive and gut reaction to that is, that's a lot, because Giroud, what's Giroud worth? Can't be much, six months at his age, but what, a few million, I guess? I want to say five million, but that might be too much. But let's just say Chelsea are prepared to pay up to 45 million pounds for a second striker. Doesn't that seem nuts? Doesn't that seem nuts? I mean, if you're going to spend north of that, you go for someone like a Timo Werner, if indeed his release clause is closer to 60 million, and then you've got a starting level striker to compete and push with Tammy. But I understand the theory of buying a second striker not to undermine Tammy. But if you're buying a second striker, why are you spending so much money on him? It to make no sense. I mean, I, like probably a lot of many other Chelsea fans, would be happy to see his arrival because Batshuayi has been looking really poor of late. Giroud, obviously, hit in this theoretical deal, he'll be going the other way. And if 
you know, if not, Giroud does look like he'll be going out in January regardless. So Chelsea do need to bring someone in. He's young, he scores goals, and Frank Lampard and Jody Morris might just generally fancy him in their club, or team rather. So generally, you think, all right, I get it. They might just like the look of his play style and he just suits the right kind of tier of striker to play behind Tammy Abraham. I mean, that would probably be good for Tammy Abraham knowing that look we're not signing Timo Werner we're signing a striker that very much is a second tier striker behind you baby um, but he's costing us 45 million imagine what you're worth to us young Tammy Abraham Chelsea's number nine maybe they'll act as an ego boost for the young English centre forward not that that's healthy anyway watch this space apparently loads of journalists have been reporting on how apparently Chelsea are really interested in Moussa Dembele and even though the club have said nope, not, not for sale, go away, don't think about it, we're finishing our season with him, they keep coming back and sniffing around him and, you know, offering that sweet pee. It's interesting when Chelsea know who they want, apparently they go in quite hard, so we'll see what happens there. Right, so here's this story, okay, I'm sure a lot of you saw it going around social media on Twitter or indeed just news publications on that Sky Sports transfer show, pundit, Sky Sports reporter, Kaver Sokol Hekol. Sohakul. Kaver Sohakul. Apologies for my really poor pronunciation. I've never heard the name spoken out loud. Anyway, he came out and said live on the show yesterday, Chelsea are reportedly very heavily in for a central defender from a rival Premier League club who they're confident they'll seal the signature of by the end of this transfer window. He's a very promising and young central defender and it'll cost no less than 50 million pounds. Uh, what else did he say? So immediately Twitter explodes. I mean, he did say it with a little bit of a, <laughs> I know something you don't know, but I'm sworn to secrecy. I can't tell anyone. I was promised I can't say a word. So all I'm letting you know is that information. So straight away you want to think, oh, this guy's just talking nonsense maybe. He just fancies being a bit smug about some information that may or may not be true. But then you have to think again, well, you know, these people often put their reputations on the line if they're reporters or pundits. And if they truly believe in something, they just get overexcited and want to say it. And maybe there's truth to this. So naturally, Twitter exploded with speculation of who this young, promising central defender from a rival Premier League club that would cost no less than 50 million pounds could be. Crazy names are started to be thrown around. Soyuncu from Leicester, which would kind of make sense. He's a very young, promising uh, central defender from a rival Premier League club, certainly rivaling us in the top four. Why that? Would they ever sell Suyun Chiru to Chelsea now when he's only just come in, done so well, and he's in a really good project? And, you know, they sold Maguire for 85 million. They're not going to just sell this kid for 50. I don't know. This seems a bit silly to me. Other names being mentioned are people like Joe Gomez from Liverpool. Again, fits the profile in terms of being a young, promising central defender, would definitely cost at least 50 million in terms of his profile and ability and a Premier League rival. Now, I wanna laugh Joe Gomez off because you'd think why it would never happen, but then he doesn't always start for Liverpool. There was a time when him and Virgil van Dijk played together and you were like, well, that's the starting partnership between, uh, you know, for, for Liverpool, but van Dijk and Gomez, that makes a sense. That, to me, they look the best. But he's been in rotation now with Matty, but even Lovren sometimes in front of him. And if you think about it, if Liverpool see they can cash a horrendous amount of money in for him, Chelsea are no threat to Liverpool. Liverpool have got the title wrapped up. They don't care, I don't think, what Chelsea do. If, but if they can make 50 million for Joe Gomez, if he comes in, puts a transfer request, says, look guys, Matty and Lovren are playing in front of me. I'm friggin' awesome. I'm an England international. I need to get out of here. Here's a transfer request. Frank Lampard wants me to start in his team every week. And they're like, yeah, I get how you're not playing you know, your fourth choice centre back and we can earn at least 50 million pounds for you and you don't want to be here, all theoretical, then maybe it could happen. But I've just woven an incredibly theoretical story for you guys there that probably doesn't exist. I'm just speculating and talking out loud, right? Joe Gomez to Chelsea? Still another name that's been mentioned is, is a Diop from West Ham, who's obviously a very good central defender, but if you think you're being linked with Suncho and Gomez and you end up spending 50 million pounds on a West Ham centre back, then times are very sad indeed. It's Jaden Sancho to Wilfred Zaha, Timo Werner to Moussa Dembele, <laughs> Joe Gomez 
to Diop. It's a Chelsea thing. Anyway, it's pretty funny. I think there is a lot going on behind the scenes at Chelsea Football Club at the moment. And as soon as a player gets spotted at Cobham or a Chelsea agent or an agent or some players in London, stories will heat up. And of course, I'll report on said stories to you guys on Football Therapy. So make sure you do swing by the channel every single day for updates. Anyway, what do you guys think about the stories today? Who do you think this rumoured secret £50 million centre-back could be? Get down in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on today's stories that I've spoken about. And if you've enjoyed the content, please do like this video. And remember, subscribe if you've not yet subscribed to Football Therapy. What else? Follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. I think that's it, guys. So you lot enjoy the football, and I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick. Got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy, stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.